A beautiful evening unfolded last Wednesday as 100 Minnesotans gathered to remember outdoors writer Gary Clancy and formally dedicate a new state wildlife management area in his name. Family, friends, and contributors to the WMA devoted an upbeat couple of hours to sharing stories about Clancy's remarkable life. Then they enjoyed exploring the 167-acre landscape of rolling prairie and forest along the Wantawan River southwest of Mankato. Born in Redwood Falls, Clancy graduated from Albert Lee High School and served in Vietnam in the U.S. Army. Back stateside, he eventually turned his passion for hunting and fishing into a writing career and his name graced many national magazines, hunting and fishing books, and the pages of outdoor news for decades. He passed at the age of 68 in July 2016 following a battle with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Though participants shed a few tears during some emotional moments and memories, the vibe was undeniably positive as people who knew Clancy best shared some laughs and recalled his remarkable storytelling ability. In addition to Clancy's wife of 44 years, Nancy, and her extended family, their three daughters and all five grandchildren attended the dedication. Gary's son-in-law, Lee, spoke on behalf of the family. Other speakers included representatives from Pheasants Forever and the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources. At the end, the family unveiled a granite monument marking the site that contains the names of key donors who contributed to the project. Four years in the making, the Gary Clancy Wildlife Management Area is now open for hunting and other recreational activities this fall. So be like Gary and get out and enjoy this new chunk of Minnesota public land. For Outdoor News, I'm Rob Dreesline.